Hi everyone, I'm Sumaya with Blue Dot Coaching, and I want to offer a little analogy today. That's it's a sports analogy, um, but I think it might land whether or not you're a sports person or an outdoors person. So bear with me. So the analogy is about skiing, and it's about the phenomenon that I think we can all recognize whether or not we're skiers called the fair weather skier. Now the fair weather skier really does like the sport, likes to ski, but the fair weather skier needs conditions to line up just right to be able to enjoy it. So the weather has to be just so, the sun needs to be out, good visibility, and definitely not too cold. And the snow conditions need to be just right. So not too icy and maybe not even too much fresh snow because maybe the fair weather skier doesn't really like um, skiing through powder and heavy snow, maybe that's too much work. So um, not too icy, not too soft, groomed just right. And probably equipment has to be just so. So boots can't be too tight or, or hurting his or her feet. And uh, the skis have to be just the right ones and they have to be tuned just so. Um, and probably outerwear needs to fit exactly the way this person likes and have the right zippers and the right buff and all those kinds of things. And so if all of those conditions are met, then the fair weather skier might really enjoy a day of skiing and really loves the sport, loves skiing. But we all know that it's kind of rare for conditions to all line up just right. It's rare for the weather to line up just on the right day when we've got time off and it's very often our equipment doesn't work just the way we want it to or um and goodness knows snow conditions are all over the place so what it means unfortunately is that conditions will only line up just right a pretty small number of times a few times in the year if you're lucky maybe a little bit more than that but either way it's unlikely to be all that often and so it the fair weather skiers enjoyment of the sport is likely to be significantly reduced, I'm not going to get all that many days. Now, on the other hand, there's kind of the all weather skier. This person unconditionally loves the sport of skiing. Conditions don't have to be just right. Weather does not have to be just right. It can be sunny. It can be not sunny. It can be downright freezing and dumping snow and terrible visibility and ice on the goggles. So what? This person doesn't really care, doesn't really mind. And equipment doesn't have to be just right. So maybe something happened with boots and the buckle's not working quite right. And maybe our favorite pair of skis is still, you know, being worked on and we've got a backup pair. Doesn't matter. So the all weather skier just unconditionally loves being out there on the mountain, breathing in the fresh air and just enjoying being out there on the skis. And therefore, this person is likely to have a lot of days on their skis and enjoy a ton of really wonderful time skiing. Maybe this person is going to get 100 days in, you know, in the winter and just have a fantastic winter. What I want to suggest to you is I think life as a whole works in a similar way. I think that on one hand, there are fair weather humans. And the fair weather human has a pretty long list of needs and wants and requirements and expectations. And that if those needs aren't met, that person is not very content. That the fair weather human has a conditional contentment or a conditional happiness. And the longer the list of conditions, the less often the person is happy. Now, on the other hand, just like there's an all weather skier, I think there's such a thing as being an all weather human. And I think an all weather human just doesn't have a long list of requirements. I think an all weather human doesn't need work to be exactly just so and feeling a certain way or having all relationships line up just so and feel a certain way. I think the all weather human doesn't need their home environment, their house or their surroundings to be just so or be perfect. Um, the all weather human is kind of unconditionally content, happy to just show up, have outward circumstances be imperfect, messy, however they look, 
and still be content because he doesn't have a long list, he or she doesn't have a long list of, of requirements for contentment. And so in the same way as the dynamic with the all weather and the fair weather skier, there's the same dynamic with life is that being a fair weather human is unlikely to lead to a lot of happiness, contentment. Whereas being an all weather human, on the other hand, is likely to lead to a lot of contentments because there's not a lot of a list of requirements. I think what's really important to know about this is that the all weather human knows that that list of needs and wants and expectations and requirements is made up of nothing but thought. It's not real. It's not objectively true in any way. It's not inevitable. It's simply made up from the inside out of nothing but thought. And if we can make it up, well, then we can just as easily let it go. And when we let it go, our list of requirements and needs ends up being quite short. And the shorter it is, the shorter is that list of requirements that we have for contentment, the more often we're content. It's kind of like having unconditional happiness, being able to just show up to life, be open to life, and be content so much more often and so much more easily. That's what the all weather human knows. And the really wonderful thing is, I think we are all all weather humans at heart. I think if we look back to how we are as children, how children are in general, they just show up moment to moment. They're just as happy mucking around with some dirt and rocks as they are with a fancy new toy. They don't really care. They don't have a list of long list of requirements and expectations. It's how we're wired. It's just over time, we make up a lot of requirements, a lot of conditions on our happiness, and we think they're real and they start to move us farther and farther away from our natural state of being, which is sort of unconditional contentment and curiosity and, and, and openness. So the great news is it's a choice. We can all be all weather humans and be content much more of the time, even when circumstances aren't lining up exactly just so. So I hope that analogy landed. Thanks for listening and see you next time.